Hello everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Um, I'm a little exhausted because I had a really rough week at work, so I apologize if my peppiness is a little lower than normal. Um, but I want to bring you guys a three looks one palette with the ABH Norvina Volume 1. I'm sure you guys have seen this multiple times um on youtube on instagram etc etc but i wanted to bring this to you with my opinion it is new to me and i wanted to share with you my thoughts so i'm going to go ahead and do a get ready with me as well as a three looks one palette um, the first look will be a get ready with me and then the other two will just be the other two looks of this palette i haven't really done any eyebrows or anything so we're just going to get chatty and up close and personal to start by using my Anastasia dip brow pomade and this is in the shade dark brown I'm trying to get a good dip going in that corner because I feel like there's just so much product left in here and it's something that I would really like to pan this year hopefully um, it's not in a project pan right now but I'm just starting to get the groove of using this a lot more and I've shaped my brows differently so um, I think it's going to be a little bit better as far as the way that I'm shaping my brows and I feel a lot better using the product because before I just kind of gooped it on because there was so much of it. Now I'm actually trying to style my brows nicely. So I'm enjoying really using this actually so I'll definitely repurchase this. So my brows and my uh, eyeshadow primer potion is on. I use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in original. And I use that every single time I do my brows and my eye uh, primer the exact same way pretty much every single time, which I will be trying new things in the future. But I've been using this for years and I've been loving it. So I figure if it, it ain't broke, don't fix. But at the same time, it's nice to try new stuff. So speaking of new stuff, I want to show you guys this palette right here, which is the Norvina Volume 1. Uh, ABH Norvina Collection Volume 1, pardon me. Um, it came in the box that looks identical. Um, it, there's nothing else in it. I thought maybe they would be putting another eye eyeshadow primer or something in there, which would be great to try some more ABH products without putting up that extra coin because this does retail for $79 Canadian on the Sephora website. Um, but I definitely want to just get into it and get started with this uh, and I'll talk to you guys about my thoughts and everything on the colors and the palette at the end so it looks like this really gorgeous beautiful shades in here um, there's a blue in here which is right here that I will not be using I don't believe I might try it out of course just to like try it um, but it's not a shade that I typically use. It is a kind of a glittery shade, so I'm kind of curious to see how that pans out, but um, no pun intended with the pan. Bad joke, I know. Um, but I'm gonna get started right now. So um, I'm gonna try a couple of, I think, I should get some different brushes here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with, I think I'm gonna start with E3 because that's really, if you look at this palette, there's not very much for, simple transition um there is pretty much e3 and e2 uh, if you're going for more neutral transition shades so i'm gonna start with um you know what let's start with e3 because it literally reminds me of actually i'm gonna do a swatch side by side it reminds me of the mac uninterrupted shade which everyone went absolutely crazy for. It's this one here, actually. So I'm gonna do a little swatch side by side on that. It's a little bit deeper. This is the MAC Uninterrupted, which is incredible. And then on this finger, which is, this is really nice and creamy. I did not get enough. Why is that not picking up? It's really, really light in comparison, so it's not actually similar at all. 
but it is these two shades would go really nice together I'm going to um, take this brush it's clean don't worry um, I have used it but I, I used my um, I'll show you the tool here that I use it's from Quo and it is a eyeshadow brush refresher it's a color swap tool so I just run my brush in there takes off any excess so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in E3 and I'm just going to bring that in the crease just a little you don't need a lot with these shades that's what I found from volume 3 if you've seen that video you would know that they're incredibly pigmented they're obviously uh, pigments not eyeshadows so you will get that pigment for sure with the applications you'll definitely want to use a lighter hand for initial application it took me absolutely nothing to apply my crease shade so this will not take that long at all I don't believe Just to forewarn you guys, um, I bumped heads with my kid last night and I have a little bump on this side. It's a little round right here. So um, just disregard that. I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go in with, um, I think I'm going to go in with B1, which is the shade here. I am going to go in the crease just over top of the other shade. I find that uh, going over top of another shade will help the blending process. And also it kind of, they blend really well together. That other shade and this, um, like the, the mustardy shade and this kind of purpley pink shade, they blend pretty well together. Next what I'm going to do is take uh, my 863 brush from Sedona Lace. The first brush story was a MAC 217. Um, this one is the 863 from Sedona Lace. I'm just going to take this with absolutely nothing on it and I'm going to blend out that other shade just a little bit more. I'm going to have to dip into another palette just because I have a lot of space between my brow and my crease so I do need extra transition shades that not a lot of people usually require and I'm not bringing the color all the way up to the brow today so um, definitely going to have to go into another palette because there aren't any real other shades in here that would be like my skin shade so that I could like set my eyeshadow primer or anything um, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take the same 217 brush from MAC and I'm going to go in with this B4 shade right here, which is a really nice deep matte purple. Now again, be very careful when you're picking that product up because it's going to apply a lot of color, especially on the deeper shades. And it also picks up a lot of, uh, it has some kickback, so, or pickup of, of the product. So I'm basically patting this in the outer corner of my eye, kind of stippling the bristles and then lightly dragging them across just because I don't want to do circular motions because I feel like these pigments 
will get patchy and streak a lot. So you just want to pick them up and kind of place them where you want them instead of doing the circular motion type deal. But I'm trying really hard to keep my mouth shut, but this purple is beautiful. So I brought you guys in a little more so you can actually see the color of this purple shade. It is freaking gorgeous. I'm actually going to go up a little higher with the color because I do want that purple in there more because it is so gorgeous. And I want you guys to see that purple blended in with that pink. So I'm going to drag it through my crease and then later I will touch up a little more of that pinky purple shade that we used in the beginning. But again, I'm barely, I'm barely applying product. I'm barely pressing on the brush. I'm not doing circular motions um, and it's laying down the product really nicely. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. It didn't take me very long to get here at all. Um, I am wowed by the shade of this purple. <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful, honestly, and um, I'm really pumped. This usually happens to me with these palettes is right off the bat, I get excited. So I'm just taking a, a little bit of that pinky purple shade and just touching it up with that 863 brush from Sedona Lace. And I'm really just lightly bringing it up into the crease just a little bit more to buff out that purple, but I'm barely applying any pressure, you guys. Just the littlest bit of pressure. If you apply too much pressure, these pigments can definitely get patchy. But I just want you to see like, I'm barely touching my brush into that product and I'm like slowly, effortlessly, like honestly effortlessly, just like lightly dragging it across my eye. I'm sorry, I'm like speechless at the way that this is applying. And then I'm going to wipe the br bristle off or brush off. Again, I'm so sorry, I'm very tired. <laughs> that usually happens to me. I'm just gonna take that um, brush with nothing on it and slowly blend out the outer part. So I wanna show you guys a little bit of, because this is a three looks one palette and a slight bit of a review, um, I'm gonna show you that this purple shade right here gets a lot of pick up or kick back. I don't know what you want to call it, but a lot of product kind of sits on top and I feel like if you leave it there, it's just going to make a mess in your palette. So um, you kind of just have to take care of that and make sure that it doesn't get everywhere. But it, you do like you will lose a tiny bit of product solely based on the fact that the product comes up like that just a little bit. The next shade I think I'm going to go in with, I'm a little bit hesitant right now. I'm not really sure which one I want to try. Um, but I think I'm going to leave this completely purple, like mostly a monochromatic look. And I'm going to go in with this A1 shade. That's going to go all over my lid. It's just a very beautiful glittery shade. And I'm going to go in with um, an eyeshadow paddle brush. And this is the 954 brush from Sedona Lace. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There's so many options, but I will get to these other shades at some other time. Now I'm showing you as I'm applying this because I feel like it is necessary for you to see just how pigmented that is going on. I 
I have that A1 shade all over my lids and it is very gorgeous, uh, really nice and shiny and reflective, a nice lilac purple. It's very beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go in now with A3, which is this shade here. It's a nice mid-tone purple and I'm just going to take that again to 17 brush, trusty brush. I'm going to just take a little bit of that off in my color swap tool. And I'm just gonna take a very little bit, just a little bit, and I'm just going to go between those two shades. And I'm just gonna set it down to blend the two together because I don't want there being a harsh line and I don't know how much I wanna blend solely because blending isn't always the best option. So this is basically the look, I think, done. I've only used four shades. I'm pretty sure I used four shades only. Um, I am going to use a couple of other shades from MAC just to set this area. Um, yeah, you can totally see the bulge in my eyebrow now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to just clean up everything and add a little bit of um, mascara and lashes and, or mascara, or whatever, and eyeliner, and I'll be right back. So this is the eyes done. I'm really excited about the way that the purples turned out. I think they look really pretty. Um, I don't normally put makeup underneath my eyes and I will explain why. Um, I have mature skin under my eyes. I'm getting fine lines and wrinkles there. And I feel like when it's a blank canvas, it looks a lot smoother. So I, I rarely put anything underneath my eyes, but I will for the future looks. It's just today I wanted to leave it as such. And I'm really enjoying the way that these colors turned out. The purples in this are wonderful. Um, I really enjoy the colors, the tones, the textures of the purples. Of course, most of them are matte, which are right up my alley, but even the shimmer one on my lid. Um, in the corner, I have Makeup Geek's Phantom, and then of course up here, I used uh, two MAC eyeshadows. So I think one was Brulee and one is Nylon, I think. Um, it's my quad that I, I use with every single shadow. So I just wanted to show you guys the look close up. So this is look one from far away. Um, it's very purple. It's super purple, but I'm really enjoying the colors and I'm really enjoying the vibrancy. And I really enjoy applying these mattes to my lids. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it now. You will see the next couple of looks, but this is look number one and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.
All right, this is the finished look. I added a little bit of, let me see what shade that is actually. Um, I added a little bit of B4, which is the shade here, really close to the lash line. And then I smudged it out with a, which is a B1, sorry, B1. So um, just to give a little bit of something underneath the eye because I don't normally wear makeup underneath my eye. I feel like it makes my eyes look really round and small. Um, so I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup underneath my eyes usually. I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit. And yes, I am wearing a shirt. Uh, I had burnt my shoulders really badly over the last weekend. And um, so I can't wear straps or anything because it's like all over the back area and it's really uncomfortable. So I've been wearing tube tops for like five days. Um, but I just wanted to go over with you the, or my personal opinion and thoughts on this palette. So again, this is the uh, ABH Norvina Volume 1 palette. It's really large. It's a really nice palette. I love the purple and gold aesthetic on the front. Um, so it says on the back that it is vegan, cruelty-free, good for 18 months from the time of opening. We all know I'm going to use it for longer. Um, it's got a bunch of other things on the back. I'm not really sure. I think it's for face. I think that's why there's a face there. It looks like the arrow thing. I'm not really sure what that symbol is. Maybe reusable or recyclable. I don't even know. Um, but apparently you get uh, 1.8 grams each, like each shade. Um, so, and there are 25 shades in here, I believe. Yeah, and it comes with a full mirror. So there's the mirror. And then this is what the shades look like in, in the palette. Um, I was going to do a brown look for my third and final look, but I decided to go with pinks and purples because let's just face it, no one's going to rush to this palette and say, I need to do a neutral look. Um, there's just so much going on with purples and reds and um, yellows and oranges and stuff. So no one's going to shoot to this palette and go, I want to use the shimmery brown or this brown. I mean, that's just me. Well, the first thing I look at this, I don't think I want to do brown. So I'll just swatch the browns for you just to show you. So this is the um, A4. Again, we have this in our palettes, like all the stuff in our collection. I'm sure we can find one that's similar to that. And then this is the uh, number B2 or letter number B2. And I mean, that as beautiful as those are like it's not my first choice in a palette that has amazing beautiful colors there's also a black and a matte sort of like a reddish brick brown this is the reddish kind of brown so i mean you could essentially go ahead and do like a brown look it's got a white it's got um a matte shade it's got two shimmery brown shades you could easily do a very quick cut like couple of shades look and just call it a day all over the lid blend out your crease and go um, you have a black to give you some dimension in your outer corner or the inner if you are doing a halo eye so yeah with the neutrals you do have some option which is really nice but for me I'm not buying this palette for the neutral shades I'm buying it because I want those reds and those yellows and those oranges and those purples um, the blue doesn't intrigue me. I'm not really interested in blue, but I will eventually use it. It's just I had no purpose to use it in these three looks. Um, on this particular look, I did add some lashes. I think they are Ardell. I'm not 100% sure. They're kind of cute, but they're, they're, they just look very fake, but they're very curled and stuff at the end. But I just wanted something plain to keep the eye popping because I wanted to make sure once I was done the final look, you guys could see the final look. Um, so the palette retails for $79 Canadian. I believe that's 60 American people are saying it's 60 American. I haven't checked out the American website. So please, by all means, check out Sephora or the uh, ABH Norvina website. And I'm sure it'll tell you that there. Um, but for Canadians, it is $79 for this entire palette. You do not get any extras with it. It's just the palette alone. Um, I do have to say that I am so excited about using these palettes. I have been really enjoying this particular volume one palette and I'm very happy that I got it. So happy in fact um, that I am considering getting volume two and I never wear greens and blues. Now that being said, 
back to my volume three. If you've seen that video, it's on my channel. You're more than welcome to go check that out. The greens did not perform very well. There was a lot of patchiness and um, the blending just was not good. That could be also a little bit of me not being super familiar with how to use pigments. I do use quite a few of them, but they all perform a little bit differently, especially depending on what shade you're using. And I don't wear greens and blues, so that may be partially my fault. Um, but at the same time, I'm sure it would be fine if you're using it on your face or your neck or something for makeup like that. But for me, it didn't work. So I, but at the same time, I'm so impressed with the one and the three palettes so far that I am like really considering collecting all of them. They're that good for me. I really enjoy them. I've heard a lot of people um, sort of boycott the fact that there's these palettes coming out, um, sort of foreshadowing the Jackie Ina palette and they came out whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I came in at a time back on YouTube where I hadn't worn makeup in a long time. I didn't know what was new. I didn't know when things came out. I just saw what was available to me. And these absolutely spoke to me like crazy. So I really wanted to get my hands on them and I'm really glad that I did. I love the purples and the pinks and the oranges and the yellows. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with their payoff. Um, I hope you can see that they do blend very well together. I do have quite a bit of black in the inner and outer corner sort of just dabbed because I wanted it to be a very deep shadow. I love that. Black is one of my very favorite eyeshadows to add to any look. That being said, there's not a full, uh, for me anyway, personally, again, these are all my personal opinions. For me, this isn't a standalone palette. I always have to pair it and I'll show you what I pair it with. Um, but this is like, not for me, not a standalone palette. I don't really have... Um, if I'm going to do a brown shade, I don't have a neutral shade for my crease for, for what I would want to use if I was looking for a medium brown. There's no really medium to light brown in here. For me, there is no crease shade or inner corner shade. I did use um, that pink that I had placed on the center of my lid in the inner corner, but you can see that it's very dull. So I think I would probably put a little bit of a lighter uh, maybe eyeliner or a really light concealer there and then put something on top but personally i will use my little quad this is something that i have made that i use with everything if i can't find what i'm looking for so i have and, and it's very well loved and used i have my plain blank not blank blanc whatever you want to call it um i have a cream shade I have a very shimmery, very beautiful shimmery shade. So that that is normally what I use on my brow bone. Then I have this shade here, uh, which is uh, soft brown, and it's just a nice light, warm mid tone to light tone brown. Of course, I can't really swatch that because there's just a ring around there. I can't really do that. And then my black, my black shade, which I don't really use as often because you can find black normally in eyeshadow palettes so it's not as rare for me to find a black eyeshadow and I don't use that much of it as much as I would use um, with the other shades because I would put the black in the little bit of the outer corner and then the rest goes all over the top of my lid which you can see I have a lot of space so I tend to use the other shades more all this aside because it's not about that it is not a standalone palette for me. I definitely need to have something for my brow bone or something for my crease if I'm looking for something more like neutral instead of like yellow or orange. If I want something a little more brown, there isn't really a light mid-tone brown. Um, but I'm okay with that because I'm very well prepared with having these kinds of things in my life that I bring out to use beside other palettes that I want to use. You can absolutely use these without doing all that other frou-frou stuff that I do. But the reason that I do that is because first of all, I have grown accustomed to doing that. I enjoy adding all those extra little things and I have a lot of room to work with above my increase, a lot of room to work with. And I'm noticing as I get older that my eyes are getting a little more hooded. So when I relax my face, the skin droops like over my, like if I were to have resting bitch face, um, the skin would just hang right over my lid. But as a whole, if I'm talking to someone and I'm moving my brows or I'm whatever, it's gonna be okay. But 
I have a lot of room here, so I need to go higher up. I need to make sure that I have all that coverage. So with that being said, to me, this is not a standalone palette. I do incredibly enjoy the pay the payoff and the pigmentation of the eyeshadows. Obviously, they are pigments, so you will get that anyways. That isn't a surprise because anyone who's bought this palette will understand that it is a pigment. It's not just an eyeshadow, it's a pigment, so you are get on, getting full-on opaque pigmentness. <laughs> um, I'm really... I'm really enjoying these palettes. I would like to try, now that I've tried both of those two palettes with just straight up Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, I would like to try them, um, if I use these really shimmery shades, I would like to do that with um, maybe like a glitter base or something to see if I can get a bit more oomph. I really like the the payoff, I don't really think I need much more, but if I wanted to go full out, I would like to try something like that just to see what it's like, but I haven't. I wanted to do just straight up eyeshadow primer so you knew what you were getting if you were interested in, in buying or purchasing this or if you have it already and don't know what to do. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this palette. I really love it. I enjoy it. I'm glad I bought it. It's, it's, it gives me life. It gives me inspiration. I don't have trouble at all with the layout. Um, I find what I need in here. Of course, with my little individual palette aside, like I find the very vibrant shades that I'm looking for. I think these are going to be like really standout palettes for me and something that I gravitate towards easily because I'm enjoying and I'm smiling when I'm using them. I'm having a lot of fun using these and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of these in the future. So I hope that helps you if you are considering getting these palettes. This may not be for you if this kind of look is too much. I'm trying to make these things as wearable as possible or like my looks, not these things. I'm making these looks as wearable as possible for everybody so that if you are interested in, in purchasing this and you don't feel like going crazy or wearing Instagram style makeup or something, you can do regular everyday wearable looks. It's just makeup. You know, it comes off, it's fine, it's not a big deal. Just enjoy yourself and have some fun. And if you don't like it, just wash your face and start again. It's that easy. But again, I hope you guys enjoy this so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please give it a like. That helps me out huge. Feel, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you guys come back and watch a couple of my future videos. That'd be so great to spend more time with you. Please be safe in the world please be safe know that i am thinking of every single person going through something right now i can't even imagine the feelings in the world right now i i don't even have words to say because i don't want to get jumped on but just know that i absolutely am here and thinking of you guys and knowing and seeing what you're going through and i stand by you and i support you and i yeah this is that's all i have to say um, okay, don't forget to wash your brushes and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye everyone.